Hi, this is Scott. Today I'm going to show you how to remove these uh, roofing uh, patches from your hand, from your fingers or from your uh, tools, the fastest way possible. Uh, so I just finished roof, uh, doing some repairs, patching on my roof. I used this uh, Henry's uh, wet patch. Ooh, see, got it right here. Still, It's still wet. You see that? So I'm just going to show you how fast it is to uh, remove this. So let's just... I just do it from from uh, from this tool from the uh, the can itself. So what I use is a a can of this brake clean. It's basically a brake cleaner. I just got this from Amazon. I think for five dollars a can. But uh, you're gonna see how it works. So here's hopefully. You see that? It just sprays right off. And then you just wipe it with a towel. I'm going to get a towel. I'm trying to do this two-handed. You see that? It's gone. That's how fast it was. Completely gone, pretty much, after a few sprays. And uh, I'll just do it on this tool here, too, as well. See this? I got a bunch of them. I got a bunch of it right here on this tool. Uh, so I'm just gonna spray it. You see that? It sprays right off almost. It's gone. This one's looks like it's hardened already. So I me, mean, I gotta spray probably. I gotta let it probably sit a little bit. It's hard to do this one handed. Yeah, see, most of it's gone. It just comes right off. So, anyways, that's what you gotta use if your hands, let's say your hands, uh, got stuck with all this uh, goo, just spray it on your hand. And it's gonna come right off otherwise it might stick to your hand and start bleeding so uh, may I try it here too as well on this glove probably have to let this one sit and dry for a while let me see see that it's coming right off all those big globs I have to let it soak a little bit if I want the whole thing to come off, but as you can see I'm taking it all out. It's hard to do this one hand, <laughs> but uh, you get the idea uh, and you saw how fast that was. So you just got to do it when it's still a little wet, when it's on you. And um, if, you, if it dries, then you probably have to spray and leave it on for a little bit for it to to uh, get it off uh, so that's it hopefully this was helpful to you here's another tool that I'm trying to clean it's got some uh, some tar there so so you can see that was pretty quick huh Scrape it a little bit. This was dried up for weeks. This one's still a little stubborn. All right, let's see. There we go. Ah, it's tough to do it with one hand. That's what I admit this stuff has been on for a month almost so it's pretty dry I'm using a wire brush got this from uh, the dollar store
pretty good the handle I don't know how to do the handle this is plastic it's really big then uh, I think the handle might be a little harder I don't know oh there it goes wow pretty good I guess if I keep doing it, it'll come off. Wow. I didn't even brush it. That's pretty good. Considering I didn't even do anything to it at first. It's like losing pressure or something. It's weird, I haven't used it. I just opened it today. Anyways, <clears throat> anyways. Pretty clean. After a few minutes. So make sure to subscribe if this has helped you at all. Help me out. Get some ads. Thanks.